In the year 2000, we were all in lockdown and uh, one of the consequences of COVID was uh, damage to the supply chain. As far as motorhomes and camper vans are concerned, here in Europe, the most significant amount of damage out of the, the supply chain was to Fiat as a company. Now, Fiat then made up 73% of all uh, camper van and motorhome chassis. Right, so 27% was amongst other manufacturers. Um, the problem was Fiat probably suffered more than any other uh, company. Now, Fiat just cannot produce the chassis which are required. However, Ford was much more successful. And as a result of the success that Ford were having, the Trigano, it was a motorhome manufacturer, one of the largest in Europe, uh, decided to produce a new brand of vehicle based on the Ford Transit Custom, which was available. This is why Panama came about. It's supposed to bridge between, I don't know, a tent and uh, no tent. Maybe that's the bridge. It's a bridge. <laughs> Panama is the bridge between the Atlantic and the Pacific. Uh, bridge between a uh, camper van and something else. 52,000 euros uh, for something like this. This is uh, pretty uh, cheap by uh, RV standards. It is though, of course, a Ford Transit Custom, which is a car. That's what we've got here. And uh, so what you've got at the back, it's the what I call the VW camper layout. And we've got a sink and we've got a, um, I'll show you this sink and the burners. They were nice burners, mind you. I think, I think they're quite, I mean, La Strada used them. And it's got a proper sized um, uh, um, drainage hole as well. So that, that's, that's a good, good sign. The rest of it though is very similar to what you find in any VW type camper that, that's around. Of course, there's VW campers on a, on a Ford. It's the Ford VW camper. Uh, we've got storage places down here. Most people, or many people, sort of use that space down there for a porta pod. You've got an isotherm fridge, which I'll even open if I can. So, uh, one chair that'll turn round. The other one, it doesn't. This has got a daft tent in the roof. Well, maybe not so daft because you can, at least it means you can stand up inside the vehicle. The vehicle's got a very small footprint. Uh, of course, as it doesn't have uh, any way to wash yourself or any way, uh, unless you get a porta potty anywhere to get rid of anything you might need to get rid of, uh, then there are problems. But hey, it's a small vehicle and it uh, has a fair whack of space uh, uh, for these camping stuff. And uh, you're supposed to be able to speak, sleep four people in something of that nature. Now this one here looks really good. I like the colour indeed of this lass I was seeing and she got herself a new uh, Land Rover Defender in this colour and she had to order it specially. I don't know if we want to get into it. It doesn't look as though it's open. Uh, this thing here with all of this is going to cost 67,000 euros and uh, yeah, I wonder if it's open. Is it open? It is open. Oh! It's open and it's been prepared for the winter. Oh, that's good. I like to see something like that. So, uh, coming inside, they've, uh, the bed has been made into a bed. Um, it's, it really does look lived in, but it's got, it's got a very pleasant smell. This stuff here is, is I mean, it's not very thick. It's not very good either, actually, I've got in my vehicle, but I mean, it's, be it's, be it's certainly better than be better than nothing. It doesn't cost very much. Uh, at least the ones I, uh, I pay about 50 euros. So my, mind you, this is, the one here is far more complex than the one I've got. Anyway, so you can sort of lock yourself in. I bet somebody says, oh, I wouldn't like, well, you can't see anything. Yeah, well, I know you can't see anything. This is the problem of being in a van in winter. Oh, I, um, I was in minus 22 in my van last year and uh, I, all the windows, everything was covered. I couldn't see out. The only, uh, well, uh, the uh, had the the roof, the roof uh, 
the skylights here. Anyway, so let's have a look at this, rather than me rabbit on about there last winter. Uh, so we've got the seats are down like this. You put on a cover like this, and if you uh, go and lie down uh, on this cover, oh, and I've got a, to me, I'm gonna see, you can see me lying down on the cover. That's me lying down on the cover. Of course, I don't normally lie down on the cover with a bag on my back, but uh, I think this is quite comfortable. I can't feel the gaps between the chairs. I, mean, I think most people are watching us have been in a VW camper and you've got the the chairs where the chairs join on and they're sort of sticking into you. And if you if you're really unlucky, you've got they've got the seat belt buckles and all the rest of it sticking into you. But on this, it just feels it's 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 hard, uh, which which I like. So I don't know most people might. I don't know maybe 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 people want it really soft, but I, I like I like a hard. You know, for me, me concrete is too soft. Uh, I like it really hard, uh, but this this is comfortable to to sleep in. So, well, at least the lion like this. I mean, I haven't actually slept in this. Maybe I could nip in here tonight. There was somebody apparently this is before my time, but he, he didn't want to spend money on a hotel, and he would actually nip into one of these vans at night and he'd spend the night in there. Yeah. Anyway, that's a little story from the past. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's uh, it's got itself into the um, the tradition of caravan salon. Right, another feature I think is of is essential is these things here. Without, I don't I don't know if people manage it without a mosquito net. Anyway. Uh, note that I mean obviously the people that did this know, know what they're doing and uh, they but they have actually much even to get it into the uh, the wall there anyway good let's have a look at another one tent in the roof uh, now this tent is facing backwards and the reason it's facing backwards is will become obvious as we go in backwards and this is because they put a kitchen at the back that goes down forward, double bed on these two seats. This is a better layout in my opinion. Um, two, two burners, so that's exactly the same. And a bit of storage here, which may or may not open. There we go. This has got Webasto heating. I'd give that a miss if I were doing a, a van build. Uh, kitchen extension, which is unusual in something like this and seating block seats what do you call this there the seats trouble is either it's either a bed i was talking to a manufacturer of these things yesterday and it looks either a bed or a uh, seat and it's very difficult to get the compromise and the compromise often works out with neither really tends to work out particularly well uh, but uh, with the tent in the roof it does allow one to stand up as much as i don't like tents in the roof but if you're only using it as a way of standing up then that's not too bad. I said to a friend of mine yesterday who's buying a tent in the roof, I couldn't see the point of it, and he said it's not buying it to sleep in, because, you know, it's not very good for sleeping in, but for, um, uh, to give him space to stand up and inside. Right, so you can get six people in this one. I think that's a, I think that's a bit extreme in my opinion. And another layout here. This thing is going to cost sixty-eight thousand. And here, this one's on a pedestal. It's got the date. It's twenty-four seven three six five. I think that was the date it was invented. The seventh, sorry, twenty-fourth of July in the year three hundred sixty-five. I don't know if that's uh, CE or BCE. Uh, so, as a vehicle which is meant to be used all the year round, I would, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to sleep in a tent all the way around. In the insulation we've just seen, to be quite honest, that 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 will make next to no difference. It's, it's a bit like putting on an extra T-shirt in the cold. Uh, Sixty-eight thousand two hundred and eighty. Uh, for this one here right so there you have it that's Panama a new brand of uh, motorhomes 
fr uh, sorry, for camper vans from uh, Trigano introduced for the 2022 season. So I hope you found that of interest. If you did, you might want to subscribe. This uh, YouTube channel is the largest on motorhomes and camper vans on the uh, um, entire um, platform on, on, on YouTube. Uh, I think it's also the largest on the internet uh, in general. Uh, I, I do unbiased um, reviews. As you can tell, I've been rather critical of this one here. So uh, if you want to actually know uh, about the vehicles and you want to watch me and if you want to hear what the uh, manufacturers have to say then yeah, there's plenty of other channels to actually watch uh, they will just tell you wonderful things uh, that you won't hear on mine because they are not true I have lived in a van since 2011 so I've got a vague idea what I'm talking about and I upload every day at 21 15 sometimes and sometimes sometimes on the weekends actually upload a couple do lives from time to time and uh and sometimes at the late holiday season i've got a bit of stuff left over uh from i, I upload twice uh, as well so thanks for watching and all the best from me in germany